key indicators on the use of child spacing method by women in about seven states by the John Hopkins University and the Bill Gates Foundation reports that there's been an increase in the use and uh, in, on the awareness level of family planning methods in the country. The report, which is the performance and monitoring and accountability survey, focused on access, quality, and choice by women between the ages of 15 and 49. It is worthy to note that Lagos State is leading the pack with 23%, while Kano is at the bottom of the chart with 5%. On that positive note, I welcome you to Contraceptive Matters with DKT Nigeria. I'm Ola Sumbo Modupe. Welcome to the show. The program continues in a moment. Please stay with us. Thanks for standing by. It's still 
contraceptive matters with DKT Nigeria. Um, this program is made possible by DKT Nigeria, one of the largest and private providers of contraceptives and use of family planning products in the country. And all we do on this show is to enlighten members of the public, especially women, on the need to make informed and smart choices when it comes to child birth and child spacing method. Today we are looking at another interesting topic, another modern, okay, it's not modern to start with. It is one of the oldest form of child spacing method. It is called the diaphragm. So now I have with me in the studio, Dr. Tosin Laleye, a medical right. practitioner and Lara, former Lara Aluko, the media and communications manager with DKT Nigeria. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. How was your week? Oh, and how is your weekend? Weekend <laughs> is going on fine. Okay, diaphragm is one of the oldest form of child spacing method. What makes it different? Is it as effective as the modern child spacing method we have now? Thank you. Okay, the diaphragm is an example of a barrier contraceptive. Mm -hmm. That's a barrier, something that prevents something from going in somewhere. So the diaphragm is made up of latex, which is rubber, or sometimes made of silicon okay. material, and is usually used by women. It's inserted through the vagina to cover the opening of the cervix. That's the opening just before the womb. Okay. To cover it during sexual intercourse to prevent spermatozoa from entering into the um, uterus to avoid unwanted pregnancy. And it usually comes with a gel. The gel is a spermicide, which is a substance that is toxic to spermatozoa. So if we have some spermatozoa making it, um, trying to make it through to the uterus, the sperm spermicide, that is just like a cream or a gel, like I said, okay. you rub it on both surfaces of diaphragm before you insert. So the spermicide kills this spermatozoa. So like you said, it's one of the oldest methods of contraceptive, but the new thing about it now is that there is a one size fits all now. Okay. Previously, women will need to go to their gynecologist. They will need to get tested to see, okay, what size what of size diaphragm will suit you and all of that. But the good news now is that there is a one size fits all. You don't need to get yourself checked out to say, oh, what size would I use? No. Just okay. one size of the diaphragm can be used by any woman that wants to use this particular method. Okay, um, before we go further with um, the gel, how, how do you use this um, method? Okay, um, like uh, she has said, um, our own brand of the diaphragm is called the Kaya diaphragm. It is actually a one size fit all, so meaning that uh, is actually designed to fit uh, um, any kind of a woman. You don't need to go for different sizes. And uh, the way it works, the way this particular diaphragm, our own diaphragm that is called Kaya, is uh, basically we, we usually advise that if that is your method, that's your preferred method of contraception mm -hmm. that you want to use, that you actually discuss with your healthcare practitioner so that the very first time of inserting it, they can actually show you you know, demonstrate it. how to, you know, use it to cover this, the, you know, the opening of the womb. Now, so that, you know, by the time they do that for you, Thank once, you. then you can now go back home and, you know, uh, do it yourself. But, you know, the beauty part of it, as she has said, is that, okay, when you are inserting it now, like she said, oh, this, 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 the way it comes, it actually comes in a pack. Okay. You can see this, this you can carry like anywhere. It's portable. It's portable, Very yes. Portable. You can keep in your bag, you know. So the way it comes is if you want to insert now, this is, this is it. You have uh, this particular place that is meant for, you know, when you want to remove it. But when you want to insert, holding it this way. Like compress it. Yes, you compress it. You compress it, you know, it, it, it goes in like a fold now, like you are folding it into two. And you yeah. spread the gel. You spread it round, you know in and out okay. so that you know for easy uh, you know entry into where you want to put okay, it so I that you we saw that on the screen yes Not yes you know part of go. the things you are saying so you know for for it to be easy for you to actually push it in then you put it in to cover the mouth of the service so you know but what it does is you know like when dr uh, lale was explaining the fact that uh, diaphragm is actually meant to be used by a woman 
So it's not something that uh, the men will use. It's, not, it's, it's basically for the woman to wear before intercourse. So oh, it's not something okay. you, you actually wear and you leave it in there permanently. No, it's something that you wear in preparation Something that you insert, oh, rather. it's big. How do you push that in? Thank you. That's why I said when you want to start using, you need to see your healthcare practitioner. It could be your doctor. It could be your nurse. And the insertion, like I said, you see, by the time you fold into, you know, oh. tool now, by the time you compress it, because it's made from silicone, you can actually fold it. So by the time you fold it, the gel is here. You know, because of the gel, the gel it makes it slippery. It slides uh, so it slides in easily. Okay. And, uh, you know, it covers, you know, the opening of the, of the womb where you want it to cover. So it's okay. actually easy to wear. Okay. Okay, how does the gel work? You said the gel is more or less like a yes, spermicide. Yes, yes. The, the, the gel... What is spermicide to start with? Okay. okay. <laughs> so basically, the gel will do two things for you. The gel will make, um, um, you know, inserting it easier. It makes it, you know, just slide in easily. And the gel will also perform the function of, you know, a spermicide is something that is anti-something. When you say, you know, it's anti-sperm. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, you know, it's something that kills the sperm. There are some spermatozoa that are still so, so, stubborn. They shall want wow. to find their way. The gate is so locked, <laughs> but they are looking for a way to penetrate. Okay, the smart ones. Yes, the smart ones. <laughs> the over smart ones. So the over smart ones that are trying to escape, the, sperm, okay. uh, the, the spermicide that has been applied on the diaphragm now acts as a second shield. It oh. acts as a okay, toxic. That's like a two in one. Yes, two in one thing. So it, it, it kills those ones that are so stubborn that they really want to go through. Okay, so doctor, can anyone use this? Do you need to consider your health condition before adopting this uh, method? Okay, thank you very much. The One of the very good advantages of this method is mm -hmm. the fact that almost any woman can use it. Okay. In cases of women that can't use it, maybe women that have um, pelvic floor, maybe a, a previous injury that has damaged the floor of the pelvis, that's wow. the area where the vagina and all of that is. So it's, and it's not, that's not something common. It's not something common. So this method is almost like the condom that I can almost say that everybody can use it. So if you've not had severe damage or dysfunction to your pelvic floor, then you can use this method. And from what, I would just like to add one or two things to what she said about how it works. Like we've described, it acts as a barrier, preventing spermatozoa mm -hmm. from entering into the cervix and also the gel that acts as a spermicide. So for maximum effectivity, you need to leave this diaphragm in place six, at least for at least six hours after sexual intercourse. So when you are okay. done, you don't just not, take it out. Just no. like the condom. No, no, no. you don't, you don't mm -hmm. take it out like the condom. So you leave it in for at least six hours so okay. that you are sure that if there were one or two or three or more spermatozoa trying to escape, yes, okay, you can be sure that the spermicide will get to them and kill them off. And leaving it in for six hours minimum, and it is also advised that you don't leave it for more than 24 hours. Okay. So leave it on for at least what six hours forgot? after. What if you forgot? No. Uh, that, that, that's, that, that, any... that's why you are, we are saying that even if you forgot after the act, okay. yeah. you I, shouldn't... From okay. there, that is how to be removed. Yes, yes that's, exactly. that's, that, that's it. So, okay. so it, 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 it's basically saying that at, it shouldn't stay more than 24, 24. hours in your mm. system. The essence of saying this is to actually, you know, you know uh, prevent against, uh, you know, Infection. infections. You get it. So to prevent against infection, because you are using it to cover the mouth of the womb, that means it's closer to the womb than ex expected. So we are saying that for us not to introduce what is not supposed to be into that area, into okay. the womb, we need to take it out maximum six hours after the intercourse to, you know, to raise. And if in case you forget, please and please, you shouldn't last more than 24 hours in your system. You need to take it out because by taking it out, you are doing yourself a favor of not introducing infection into yes. the womb. Okay, before we move to the um, benefits of uh, the, this method, okay. does the spermicide um, gives you like an irritation? Well, 
that it depends is, on the body system. Yes, that that that, that, would, that that would depend on the body system. There are some people, you know, they react to some things. So, but it's not so common. It's not okay. so common that they, they, they react to it. Then, you know, when uh, Dr. Lale was talking about um, the the barrier method, talking about the condoms and the mm -hmm. diaphragm, the reason why, we, you know, some, because I, I'm, I'm picturing, you know, it in my mind now, some women we say, or some men we say, after all, after intercourse, we instantly bring out the condoms. The, condom. the reason being, the condoms are containers. Okay. You understand, by the time the ejaculation happens into it, you roll it out with it and you dispose it. But, but for this particular... And that's for a man. Yeah, not that's for, for a, a man, man, not for a woman. That's external. Yes, even if you are looking at the way the, 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 the female condom is structured, it's like a container to a long tube. Okay, meaning yes. that the ejaculation happened into, into, the, the, into, the, into the, the condom. condom. And by the time you bring it out, you dispose with it. But for this diaphragm that we are talking about, it's just like a fence. It's just like a barrier. As the name is, the barrier method. It's just protecting against something entering into a place meaning that it needs to come out okay so, so but you long... need to wait for six hours before you bring it out okay how long can you reuse this method the okay. diaphragm okay oh looking two at years. Uh, yes it's two years, two years. Two years. Lo okay. looking at this or uh, the the diaphragm now the car diaphragm like we've been showed in the video once after you six hours after you you bring it out what you know there's a dome there's a place where you introduce mm -hmm. your finger and you use it to pull it out once you pull it out, you just, you know, go to your tap. That's a bit technical. <laughs> it's not technical, Sumbo. <laughs> so there's no technicality in this thing, Sumbo. It's okay. easy to wear. Don't worry, I'll convince you. you, you okay, I'll this, try. Uh, you After try. The <laughs> After the program. No, really, it's easy to wear because a study showed that 80% of women who were using this for the first time actually were able to insert it correctly by just following instructions. instructions. Without any help from anybody, so it's not as <laughs> difficult as it looks. So once different. once you are done, you go to your tub, your washing and basin. You know, use a mild soap. It doesn't have to be antiseptic. No, not necessary. not necessary. Just use a mild soap. Use it, wash it, then you dry it. Once you dry, you air dry. You do it this way, then you put it back in the casing. But please and please, when you are taking care of it, when you are washing it after use, try as much as possible for we, you know, most of us, we wear rings and things like that. Let's remove it so that, yes, yeah, so that we don't perforate it in the process of washing. Then when you are washing, please, you don't need to scrub. Don't use sponge. Don't use, just your palm. What about cutting wool? No, just, you know, by the time you apply soap, just your palm, rub it on it, in and out, and you put it on the tap, you know, let the water, you know, run into it, it, run through it. At the back also, then you air dry and you put it back into the casing. And for two years, it's reusable. Okay. So what are some of the uh, benefits of using um, diaphragm, aside from the fact that it is uh, the child spacing method? Okay. Apart from the fact, the fact that it is a child spacing method. One of the most important um, purposes of this is to prevent pregnancy. So okay. that's still one of its main the one, one um, area where the major advantages lie. And okay. it's good in the sense that it is reliable, very reliable. Mm -hmm. And as we just explained, it's reusable for up to two years. So you don't need to think about buying over and over mm -hmm. again it's for convenient. two years. Yes, it's very convenient. You can see from the casing, even if you are traveling, if you're going to be out of town, you can easily put it in your bag. Right, it's exactly. easy to carry. And then it has nothing to do with hormones. So if you are the type of woman who does not want any so hormonal thing, in her, I don't want that. anything that will alter the way my body functions normally. I want a natural way to prevent um, unwanted pregnancy. pregnancy, yes, it's a very, so you find a lot of women, a lot of old-fashioned women who prefer natural methods. They actually like using yeah, the diaphragm, diaphragm because it's natural. There's no hormone, you are not introducing any hormone either in form of tablets or in form of injection or anything like that. And it's very comfortable, very convenient to do. So those are some of the advantages. Okay, to, to also add to what uh, Dr. Lale has just uh, said, you know, for me, what, one thing I see about the diaphragm is, uh, uh, the, the, I was explaining to someone, I said, funny thing about the diaphragm is that uh, it's used as you go. Okay. <laughs> so it's only when you need it that you use it. Because we've had people ask questions, especially with daily pill. You know, I got uh, one question of recent, and the woman is saying, no, oh, I'm on daily pill, but my husband traveled. Can I stop it until he comes back? You okay. get it. So this for, you know, the diaphragm is basically... But can you stop 
Can you stop? No, you pill? cannot. You have, to you have to continue because wow. it's not it's not an emergency pill that you only take after intercourse. This okay. is a daily regular pill that you need to take irrespective of being exposed to intercourse or not. Once you're on that method, it's expected that on a daily basis you take it. So you know, for the diaphragm is use as you go. You need it, you use it, you return it. So, like okay. the doctor said, it's most convenient. And no prescription needed. Yes, you don't need a prescription. The only thing is when for women that cannot, you know, you know, like Dr. Lale was saying that with instruction, when you watch the video, you mm -hmm. can actually insert yourself. But for some women that doesn't really know where the service lie, you know, there is like a process. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know where myself. Okay, don't worry. After no, the program, doctor, please tell some more. So you know that there, there, there is a way they would, you know, you know, explain to you okay. how to locate. You know, doctor, doctor Amina. The last time we were talking about the IUD, how mm -hmm. to search for it. Mm -hmm. She said, by the time you insert your longest finger, you are tracing it up. She said, by the time you get to a point that you know uh, feels like your, that like your nose. Yes, then you've reached the service area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for people like that that doesn't know, for people like Sumbo, let me yes. put it for I don't For know. people like Sumbo that doesn't I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know. So, you need when to I see, to, I'll, uh, I'll you need to see your I'll doctor or your nurse, you know, just go. Let them, you know, teach you how to insert and from okay. them you can be able to go. All right, it's still contraceptive matters with DKT in Nigeria. And today we are looking at one of the oldest form of child spacing method. It is non nomona and it is called the diaphragm. And Dr. Tosin Laleye and um, Omolara Aluko, the media and communications manager with DKC Nigeria, have been doing justice to the topic. Please participate via WhatsApp, send your SMS or send your WhatsApp messages to 090 Contraceptive Matters continues in a moment. Please stay with us. Thanks for standing by. It's still contraceptive matters with DKT in Nigeria. And today we are looking at um, diaphragm, the oldest, one of the oldest form of child spacing method. It is not normal now. It is called the diaphragm. And we have been looking at, uh, the, uh, it's just one type. I wanted to say we've been looking at the types. We've been looking at the benefits, um, the possible side effects, and how to go about them, how to use them properly. And I have with me in the studio Dr. Tosin Laleye, a medical practitioner and um, Omolara Luko, the media and communications manager with DKT in Nigeria. Before we go ahead to the other um, part of uh, half of the show, let's quickly reel out um, the numbers you can participate on. Please send your WhatsApp messages on 0809 0279018. I'll take that again 0809 0279018. WhatsApp only. Please do not call that line. 
I also want you to know that you can equally log on to www.onionbanana.com to get more. I'm sure you would like to learn more about diaphragm and any other child spacing method out there. You can log on to www.onionbanana.com. Um, that's the DKT website. We have enough and adequate information for you out there. Or send your question to DKT's toll-free line. That's the 38350 line. Send your question, type RHS, space, your question to 38350. You actually get a doctor to call you back immediately. So before we move on, um, let's look at the side effects. Are there any likely side effects, apart from the fact that I asked about um, the spermicide earlier on? Are there any side effects? Yes, definitely there are side effects. First and foremost, in some women, it could cause irritation of the vagina, so they may have reddening, swelling, just general irritation of okay. the vagina, which will resolve with time. It's not something major or something to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And then for some women, some women react to latex, some women react to, to silicone. So it's actually not advised that such women use this method of contraception. So if you know that latex is what they use to make gloves that we wear, gloves that are mm -hmm. usually worn in the hospital. So if for some reason you've had to put on that for at any point in time and you saw that you reacted to it, so you are also... Uh, if not likely are, to use yes, it. Yes, uh, because I, like I said before, the diaphragm is either... Some are made from latex and some are made from silicone, although mm -hmm. this kaya is especially made of silicone, which is more... A lot of women tolerate silicone more than the mm -hmm. latex. So that can happen if you react to those two things, you, you, you are not likely to enjoy using it, and we do not even recommend that you use it. And again, you, women that use this method may be predisposed to urinary tract infection. And the reason is that we all know that this thing that we insert is a foreign body. Mm -hmm. It's not something that is part of the body. And then maybe depending on the hygiene level of the woman and all of that, Insertion, the woman could through insertion introduce infection. So okay. women, so because of that reason, we say that women who have recurrent pelvic infections or recurrent urinary tract infection, we usually do not recommend that they use this method. Mm -hmm. So generally, those are the three most common side effects from using this method. Okay. So, so now talking about, you know, you trying to, you know, avoid some of the things that uh, Dr. Lale has just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you know that you are predisposed to the UTI, you try as much as possible, you know, to treat yourself, get treatment before you use this kind of method. Then in the process of insertion, please and please, before you insert, please let's try as much as possible to clean our hands wash your hand well, clean it, sanitize it before mm -hmm. you insert so that you don't introduce infection into the system. Mm -hmm. And when you are done using, please and please don't forget to clean after use because it will be so unhygienic for you to pull it out and you pack it in the casing. Wow. So you don't say because, oh, I'm in A's, I need to leave, I need to go, you just pack it. No, please, you when you are done. Yes, you must take it as a, you know, a point of duty to clean after use and you air dry. Then please, you know, when you Instead are cleaning. Instead of air drying, can you use um, tissue or cotton wool to just You know, clean? in the process of doing all those things, you are introducing things that are not supposed to. But when you mm -hmm. air dry, you, are just, you just blow it like this and you put it back in the casing. I think that that is, is safe enough. Okay. And it's, 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 you know, it's hygienic enough than picking a tissue or a cotton wool or a napkin to say you want to use to clean it. Okay. okay. And if I may add to that, another very important thing, like we said earlier, Please do not leave it in for more than 24 hours. If you do that, you are giving bacteria a very good environment to grow and they will just <laughs> proliferate and all of that. So please remember, leave it on for six hours after sexual intercourse and please remove it after six hours. And even if you won't remove it exactly after six hours, remove it within 24 hours. Right. Do not leave it beyond 24 hours. Okay, uh, then another thing that I would like to add is the fact that uh, you know you could have a situation whereby uh, because uh, the way things work, you we could have a situation whereby you want to have uh, more than one intercourse within that space of period. Meaning that once you wear it, if you know you are going to be having uh, uh, multiple intercourse, you leave it in 
until you are done. Not after one, you bring it out, you rinse, you put it, but no. The only thing you need to add after uh, the insertion, in case you are going to be having multiple intercourse, is the spermicide. And the way, it's been, the, way the cardiogram has been packed is the fact that in the, um, um, in the package for the spermicide, now the Kaya gel, we call it the Kaya gel, you there's have an, an applicator. Yes, there's an applicator. Oh, Sumbo is an expert. <laughs> there's an applicator. You have to adopt this method, Sumbo. Okay, there's an applicator that comes okay. with it. So what you just do is, you know, you put the gel into mm -hmm. the applicator and you introduce it into the vagina. You know, okay. you drip it in and you pull it out. So when you are done finally, you can now bring the out the diaphragm. So it's not that at every point in time you are bringing it out, you are inserting it, you are bringing it out. Wait till you are done. If, for example, it's overnight, you wait okay. till you are done, then you bring it out. Okay, sorry, and remember, you count the six hours from the last sexual contact, That's not from the first, first one when you set it. Thank okay. you, Doctor. Uh, before we go ahead, please know that you can participate on the show. Call 0908-729-6673. 0908-729-6673. That's for the phone line. And for the WhatsApp line, 0809-0279-018. 0809-0279-018. That's the WhatsApp line. And the phone line, I'll take that again, 0809-0879-6673. So let's look at some myths associated with diaphragm it looks like a condom <laughs> but does it prevent um, you from sexually transmitted infections no it so does not you, you know okay. uh, the difference you when we're discussing the other time we were trying to explain that the difference between the diaphragm and the condom is that the diaphragm only guides the entrance to the womb okay. living exposed the vagina that's the canal now leaving it exposed so it does not prevent against okay. sexually transmitted I think we have a call now hello good afternoon yeah, i'm fine what's your name welcome to the show yeah my name is ali i'm calling from uh, your name is ali ali are they calling from edo yeah edo peju edo peju edo peju oh i thought you said edo Please go ahead no, with your no, no. question. Yeah, yeah. So what about if the woman's finger is a short finger, not long finger? So how would that... What if, what if we didn't get that? Yeah, the woman's yeah, the woman, uh, hand was short, short. You know, there's some dead long fingers and the girl have short finger. I think the husband or the spouse can help a woman out with that. Yeah. He wants to know what if the woman's hand is short or the woman's finger. Is that, is that what your question is all about? Yeah, after the, you know, there's a woman hand, they are long, so yes. on a short hand like this. Okay, okay. Ade, thank yeah, you so yeah. much for calling. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we have another call. Hello, good afternoon. I'll take the two. Okay, we lost the other call. So, well, as long as the woman is a matured woman, as long as it's not a child, I think generally women within the reproductive age, and especially in this part of the world, we are not too small, eh? Um, compared to maybe some Asian countries where you really have them small in size. I think no. the average okay. Nigerian Doctor, woman... Doctor, please hold your thoughts. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, we lost that call. Okay. okay. Hello. Oh, all right. Yeah, I was saying that the average Nigerian woman has long enough hello, fingers and even okay. hello good afternoon hello good afternoon good afternoon we can hear hello, you good afternoon. welcome to the show hello good afternoon welcome to the show hello I don't think you can hear us. hello hello good afternoon go ahead you're on here please lower the volume of your tv set you cannot do two things at a time Okay, so please go ahead with your okay. thoughts. Yes, I was saying that as long as the woman is of reproductive, a, a matured woman, well, we usually consider reproductive age, sometimes even from 15, between 15, 15 upwards or 
sometimes from it. So okay. if an, an average Nigerian woman who is within the reproductive age bracket has long enough fingers to be able to insert this, I don't think there will be any problem with that. And if there is a problem, like you said, the partner of such a woman can accompany her to the medical practitioner so she learns how to insert it and can help. Or better still, log on to. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. We can hear you. Welcome to the show. Hello. Better still, log on to www.anianbanana.com. You get enough information, more information about the um, diaphragm, yes. the Kaya brand, to be precise. So, um, I said it looks like a condom. Okay, so I was trying to hello, like. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who am I speaking with? You? Am I speaking with the uh, not the uh, weekend Are you speaking with what? This is contraceptive hello. matters. Hello. This is contraceptive matters with DKC Nigeria. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do you have a question for us? Oh yes. Okay, please go my ahead. Question, my question is: What of a woman having a fibroid can can she use such? Can a woman having fibroid use it? Okay. Yes. What's your name, please? You are calling from Bariga, but I didn't get your name. Thank you so much for calling. And is that all? Okay. She wants to know if okay. a woman having um, fibroid, fibroid can, can use it. it. Like we said, this is just a covering for the opening of the uterus. That's the cervix. So it has nothing to do with the uterus itself. Fibroids are usually located within the, the uterus, either on the internal surface or within the body of the uterus. So yes, a woman with uterine fibroids, except if there are other, other things Mm -hmm. besides the fibroid but if it is just fibroids within the uterus it doesn't stop her from being able to use it that from okay hello good afternoon good afternoon what's your name welcome to contraceptive matters yeah this is ola inka ola inka calling, calling from, from where ola inka where are you calling from ogijo 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 in ikorodu okay go ahead with yeah. your question yeah Okay. But then the diaphragm that you say that after six, six hours. Yes. Six hours. As in, are we going to that thing after we have been touching? Are we going to lie down till the six hours, or can we can we put it then and be doing another thing or going now? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Allah Yinka. Okay. Okay, we need to quickly respond to yeah, that. So before basically, we once you insert it, it's not something that you have to go and lie down after insertion. And is the, because the truth is, once it is inserted, you don't feel it. It's not like a pad that you are feeling because it's inside. You know, the truth is, if you look at the anatomy of a woman, looking at the vagina now, it's like a canal. So you are putting it at the end of that canal. So you are not even feeling that it is there. And neither can your partner even feel that the diaphragm is there. So you can actually insert it in preparation for intercourse and go about your normal duty. Exactly. OK, that means you've answered my next question. Will a partner feel it during sexual intercourse? You've answered that. No, Hello. except if it's not properly Please. fitted. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Contraceptive Matters. I think that's our last call for today. Um, let's move to the next question. Is it true that diaphragm can get lost in a woman? No. <laughs> no Not at all. Like we said, it's... it's Someone fits, asked, so okay. I want to know. If it's I'm asking just, on behalf of the person. Yes. <laughs> it's like picture opening and covering a bottle, like the cover of a bottle. Can the cover of a bottle ever get inside the bottle? Oh, uh -huh. okay. like picture that logic is uh -huh. yes. any of the uh, common brands of uh, bottled water and then the cover you know there's no except you break that cover into pieces you can't mm. fit it into. into so the same way the diaphragm it acts like a cover for the mouth of the uterus which is the cervix so it cannot get inside it okay please i want to know if yeast infection can cause miscarriage at six months mm. yeast so. infection mm -hmm. mm. Well, generally, yeast infection 
what she called yeast infection is um, fungal infection. Well, you didn't say fungal infection of where? Okay. There are very many things that can cause miscarriages at any um, stage at all in the pregnancy. So we're, it's not just something I can answer. There's no broad, there's no general answer to okay. that question. So it depends on where the infection is. But generally, infections either of the vagina or those already ascending to the cervix, into the uterus, infections are generally dangerous for any pregnancy at all, at any stage at all of the pregnancy. Okay. And before you even, before you are able to confirm what kind of infection is present, you will need to do, you need to take a swab and yes. do a microscopic culture and sensitivity to know what exactly is causing the infection. Okay, on a final note, what's okay. your... So uh, basically say. for women out there that desire uh, uh, contraception and you don't want anything messing with you, you want to use a form of contraception that's used as you go, I would advise that diaphragm is actually good. But please and please, before you uh, start using, please get a medical practitioner, either a nurse or a doctor, to teach you the process of insertion so that it will not fail. Because if it is not properly inserted, it can fail, meaning okay. that you can get pregnant. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Omolara Aluko and um, Dr. Tosin Olaleye. Olaleye, yes. it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so very. much, Ade and Ola Yinka, and so many people that try to call in today on the show. It's been Contraceptive Matters with DKT Nigeria, and I'm Ola Sumbo Mudukwe. Please join us again next week when we bring you another insight, um, exciting topic. I'm Ola Sumbo Mudukwe once again. Thanks for watching.